Welcome back to another episode of Curios for the Curious. Today we're looking at a glass object with a dark blue tint to it, as well as possibly a, an applied coating that is slightly iridescent after the uh, glass was uh, cooled after forming in the shape. Uh, if we take a closer look, we can sort of see the actual tint of blue. It's a little hard in the light, uh, as well as there's something else going on uh, in the color mix of the glass. You can see almost a little bit of a brown mixed in too, which makes me wonder if this is made out of recycled glass. Uh, there are some mold seams, so there's one running almost diagonally that way, and actually on all four corners. Well, not quite. They're not even symmetrical, so here's one close to the mid-axis, nothing on this side, and then another one here, but not quite at the corner. And similarly, another one here, but not quite at the corner. So, kind of a weird structure there. The bottom, you can see, has a recess in there. And fairly uniform shape around here, but you can see it's definitely rounded. And not quite circular, not quite rectangular, somewhere in between. I don't know if you're picking up some of this iridescent color here, so it makes me think that there's definitely uh, a coating applied to this. Um, I'm going to try to see if we can highlight the blue a little bit with some different paper background, see if we can trick the camera. Because it is a nice blue, but with the iridescent color. And I think something within the actual composition of the glass that makes me think that uh, there is some recycled glass possibly and there might be some browns, some other types of uh, shades that are influencing the color. But here you can see the blue a little bit better. So what I was going to do now is then run this under ultraviolet light. So let's do it without the paper first. So I'm going to turn off this light. We'll hit it with a flashlight first to see if we can highlight some of the blue. So turning the light off right now. Turning on the flashlight. Normal white light. So there you can kind of see the blue a little bit better. I'm trying to hit it. Oh, there we go. That's pretty nice. Right there. And here in person it looks almost purpley uh, from this uh, angle, very purple. I'm not sure if that's coming up through the camera or not. Let's try it with a paper background. Again. All right. and, whoops. So you can kind of see the shadow has that blue tint to it, but uh, tried to find the dimmest flashlight that I had handy, but this is all I had at the moment. Maybe if I kind of dim it this way. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I can sort of see the blue. But I wanted to uh, hit it with the ultraviolet light next. So let's remove the paper. And ready? Okay. So as you can see, it uh, is definitely shining through because you can see the clear shadow. But look what happens when we shine the ultraviolet light on this. So if you've seen other uh, videos in the series on other glass items that are very clear, um, they seem to just glow uh, and still remain clear. This, on the other hand, because of that coating, uh, iridescent coating and possibly something else in the mix of the glass we're getting this murky brown kind of shade 
So you can see the blanket behind it still appears blue, but the blue glass now appears very murky. So if I try to shine in directly and up the angles, there is no change in, except for maybe there. But that's because we're bouncing the light off of the surface. Um, I'm trying not to shine this on myself. But you can see that we just got this murky pattern. So I'm going to turn the regular light back on and wrap this up here. So again, not sure actually what type of item this is. This could be a candy dish if it had a lid or a dessert dish, uh, aperitif dish, you know, something to serve something in. Or you could even drink out of it, you know, as some sort of fancy cup, although it's just not that conducive to it with this curved edge here. I would see the pouring out of liquid being kind of... Uh, having a lot less control than, say, through uh, a straight uh, rimmed edge. But I uh, just want to take a quick look at this uh, sort of blue-tinted and iridescent-coated glass item. This has been another episode of Curios for the Curious. Feel free to check out other videos in the series. We also do unboxing videos as well as show-and-tell videos on vintage, mill syrup, tools and other expanded topics as well as a series of book review media reviews feel free to check all those out feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching see you next time